Well, I decided to come to San Antonio to do a, a bike fit. So uh, we are here at the Bicycle Heaven. Uh, it's about 9.30. Mm -hmm. so we're gonna go in there and, uh, and see what it's all about. Uh, they have the retool system here, so I'm really looking forward to doing that. Uh, we're we'll, we'll gonna go in there and see what they got. What is it? Oh, there it is. <laughs> it's quick. So you're kind of like painting the bike? Mm-hmm, exactly. And it gives you all the measurements? And she's still got to your flexibility, too. stripes on your feet or they're now yeah, they're okay I want you to um, give me a little bit more weight on the outside of your foot there you go okay and the toe down yeah and then go back to regular so you have a little bit of a and then do that again there okay so that's neutral just to let you know this puts your knee your tibial mm -hmm. in line with the middle foot and then relax Good. So what happens is, I don't know, you probably didn't see it. You should come behind me so that you can see. I want you to um, give me a little bit of pressure on the outside of your foot. There. Good. So again, we have the knee in line with the ankle right in the center. There's the, your ankles now relax. Oh, it rolls in. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to do the same thing on this side. That one's really rolled. Yeah. <laughs> See, really yes. Like this? You, mm -hmm. If I need you, I'm going to have you come behind me. Okay. All right. Let's Let's place see. your hands on your belly button. Yep. Now come around and just allow your hands to hold on to the top of your iliac crest. Good. And then right, bend right. forward. Yep. You're good. Bend. Now go ahead and lean forward. Oh. Yeah. As much as you can. All the way. Keep going. Oh. Okay. I'm going to replace your hands with my hands. Yeah. You can off. relax your hands. Your hands can drop towards the floor. Good. Your head can drop towards the floor. Okay, and then raise back up, please. Keep coming up. Okay, and relax. So, what I feel, and I don't know if you can feel this, when your hands are here, your left hip is about one thumb width higher than your right hip. So crooked yeah. angle lady. Crooked angle lady. <laughs> 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 just a bit. There you go. So here I'm just trying to determine if your foot is varus, which means it tilts in, or valgus, which means, I mean, tilts out. Or varus, which means it tilts out. Yeah. Four foot structure. You're pretty uh, neutral, which is great. Yeah. It's actually very great. Your right foot more, a little more uh, var. You'll have a little more varus on your right foot. And varus means it tilts yeah. out? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And if you can take your hands behind your head. Yeah, kind of like you're sunbathing. There you go. And then I just want dead weight on your leg. Let me raise your leg up, okay? So I'm going to take my hand under your knee. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to support your lower leg. Oops. Wow. You are amazingly flexible. Mm -hmm. Dead weight again. Just dead weight. Yeah, you've got great flexibility. What I'm looking at is the difference in length of his tibialis. Mm -hmm. Do you see anything? Yeah, his left one's shorter. <laughs> Good, I'm glad that you said that. <laughs> 
Okay, yeah, so this one is a little bit lower. Now, we have to figure out if that's here to here or if that's here to here. The femur mm -hmm. or the, um, because what did you say earlier about your leg? Remember when I was? Is that was, my short one? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's not your right one. Because remember, his left mm -hmm. hip is higher. Mm -hmm. So if his left, I need this at 90 degrees, your elbow at 90 degrees. Yeah, perfect. Just like that. Race mode. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and then back up and give me uh, flex the, the palm right here. So you can just go ahead and lift it off. There you go. And then release. Okay, now you're on. I'm gonna tuck this into the your shorts. Mm -hmm. So your pleat should be in between your first and your fifth metatarsal. So here's your first, here's your fifth. Mm -hmm. The pleat placement should be right in between the two of them. Right there. Okay. Ask you to pedal backwards for me, please. Mm -hmm. And then you're going to stop at the bottom of the pedal stroke. Start pedaling forward. Mm -hmm. okay. This is his knee tracking mm -hmm. outside of the bike. Mm. Okay, so this is his right leg. This is his knee. This is the red, this red should be within the gray. Mm. This mm. is the center of the bike. So he's way off. Mm. Slightly. Um, his hip angle closed. Do you see this little yellow? That's mm -hmm. 80. It's above what the range should say. And I know why, because his saddle's too low. And the same thing with the ankle angle at the bottom. He's got a little bit more. Mm -hmm. um, I want you to do me a favor, Steve, and I want you to squeeze, keep pedaling, keep pedaling. I want you to squeeze your knees together a little bit. See how that's coming in? Yep. We'll do that. Give it on high. So that you feel like you're uh, <laughs> actually, yeah, down. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> It's going to feel just a little awkward, but it will all work. The <laughs> is longer. You put the cleat one direction, mm -hmm. and when the tibia is longer, you put the cleat the other direction. Oh, okay. So my tibia is longer. Yeah. On this side. Mm -hmm. Long no. tibia on the right side. The right, right side. side. Watch the knee, see if that changed. Oh, sorry, that's the other side. See, look at that. No, almost perfect. Right? Mm -hmm. Because that link, mm -hmm. that weakness, mm -hmm. right? Um, we got the ankle angle. Look. Yep, level. Look, see the difference from 84 to 89? Yep. We're still within range. All of this is coming just to where it needs to be, 69, 75. 79. See, so we're right. That one is just, that's an extra one that I do just to kind of make sure that I know that that your foot is where it needs to be. All right, when you're ready, sir. Ride like you're riding outdoors. Every time at the top of the pedal stroke, that's when that knee's coming out. And I think, keep going, yeah, keep pedaling backwards. I 
want to raise your saddle a little bit more. Okay. So hop off. I don't want to raise it so much that the mm -hmm. left side feels like it's having to hike up. Uh, but you're, I mean, you still have quite a, quite a bend. Mm -hmm. So we. The hip angle's still off. Uh huh. We came too high. I I came too high on the hip angle. Um, so you should have stuck with the three instead of the mm -hmm, five. Mm-hmm. So you gotta bring it back down. I am gonna bring it back mm -hmm. down. That also changed the knee forward of spindle. Mm -hmm. But knee forward of foot is perfect. Knee forward of spindle. <laughs> right in the middle. That's exactly where I want to be. Oh, there we go. There we go. How did he adjust? Knee travel tilt. That is coming down to where it should be. And then the knee lateral travel is just going to be what it's going to be because yeah. of his. Yeah. Can you see yourself in the mirror? Keep going. Keep right. Yeah. I mean, it's not a mirror. It's a Glass. Mm -hmm. Do you see the difference between the left and right knee? Yeah. This is wider. Yep, it sure is. But it's wider to accommodate the length of it. Oh. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. So if you brought them in, you squeeze them together. Uh huh. You want to Yep. You fall within range. Not that within range is exactly where you need to be because everybody's range is going to be different. I think I he's. Say it. <laughs> she said it. <laughs> Um, so here's what I'm going to tell you. Your back angle, and this is why I was playing with the angle of your, I know, um, with the angle of your, your bar, because truthfully, this drop where your hands go here mm -hmm. should be directly underneath where, mm -hmm. and you're a little tilted up. Okay, you're tilted up. It's your comfort level. If you had a longer stem, I'd be able to rotate your handlebar forward, mm -hmm. rotate it down so that your drop would be right underneath where your, um, what is this called? Yeah. Your hood should be, where your hood is, okay? Um, it puts you, I did this active capture right here. This puts your hip, no, sorry, your shoulder angle right at the bottom of where you should be. And Does that make Okay, I had you, you were at a, what were you at? So this, okay, do you see the difference here? Mm -hmm. Do you see how, yeah. Okay, so do you see now how your wrist is in neutral? Yeah. Maybe a little more tilt. Mm -hmm. up. This one feels too, too low. Too like yes. uh, the opposite way. But that's where your drop is, and I could actually raise it just ever so slightly. Mm -hmm. uh, and I'm going to, when you are ready, you can start pedaling. So you're going to start capturing. Yeah, thank you. Oh yeah, much better. Yes. Why are you picking up? Mm -hmm. Something not. There we go. There it goes. There he is. Woo! Look at all that. Almost all green. Oh goodness. That made a huge difference. Mm -hmm ankle angle we've got the hip angle closed we're still coming back to where we need to be the hip angle range we're in the four yep oh my gosh it's all look how much closer we are now mm -hmm. at 51 much better much better how does that feel it's good it feels a little easier too <laughs>
She's like, you yay! Me, you want me to go back and make it harder so that you get the, the full workout? <laughs> <laughs> so a couple of things I'm gonna do. We're at an 85 stem mm -hmm. length. So as you, I know. Mm-hmm. And what did you have, 45? 45. It was a 65. 65. Mm -hmm. This is a 65. This is an 85. Right now you're at 85. Okay. Um, the angle is we're at zero. So I can change this. This is kind of where you were. Is that 45? That's, well, <laughs> it's a plus 10. This is neutral. This is where you should be. Okay, and that one had a. This one had the angle was a twenty-five degree. Twenty-five. But um, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to take some what I call active captures. So you're just gonna have to ride mm -hmm. here for a little bit, and I'm gonna move, mm -hmm. make the stem longer and shorter. See what happens on the numbers and see how you feel. Okay. Okay. It's a hip angle. He's got the longer leg on this side. And back angle. We're right at 50. 50. That's perfect. Look. Everything. Look. Look. We went from 13 to 10. 61 to 50. Oh. <laughs> Yay. I think she got you covered. Okay. Yeah. Bye. So we're like 12 mills higher on your saddle height. This is the current. All this on the right is the current. That's what we started with. Oh, okay. Your saddle angle is basically the same. I mean, it only changed because we raised the saddle height. Mm -hmm. Or it's my error. The saddle setback is 10 mils Where further is that? back. Where is that? How do you get that? Uh, that's because we raised the saddle. So oh. you have that. So you raise the saddle and it's going to go like that, right? Oh, okay. Because yeah. of the Mm -hmm. The seat angle? post, yeah, the angle of your seat post. Okay. Um, so that's why that change is there. That's the same seat to angle is not going to change. Your bottom bracket to the grip reach is has changed significantly because we moved the saddle back because we raised it mm -hmm. and we added a 15 mils in your stem. Okay. 65 to 90. Does that and make sense? So mm -hmm. basically, the angles went like this. Mm -hmm. And that causes the, your, the bottom, bottom bracket grip. to the grip reach to be higher. Okay. So that's here to here. Here. Oh, okay. Okay. That's that angle right there. It got longer. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. Um, grip drop, That. oh, that's that changed too because we raised your saddle. So your grip drop is now, remember I said, oh, now you, you're going to have that racer because I kept lifting, lifting, lifting mm -hmm. the back end. Mm -hmm. So it's, it gave you more of the racer versus the endurance. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> that's the angle. Same thing with the reach. Um, <laughs> grip width, that's just Anna's uh, malfunction of, you know, I mean, it's, it's seven mils, but it didn't really change. That's just the difference that, between my measurements. Same thing here on the grip angle that shouldn't have changed. That should stay the same. Frame stack, frame reach, all that stays the mm -hmm. same. Handlebar drop from the saddle. There's your negative six versus the 14. Look, 14, negative six. Okay. okay. The reach from the saddle changes again because we added that stem mm -hmm. and we, yeah, moved your saddle up and back. Not necessarily we moved it back, but we did move it back. So everything else should stay the same. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. A lot of different angles. I know. But, uh, <laughs> okay. I just finished loading the bike back up. Finished the retool. Man, it took almost six hours. Mm -hmm. But it didn't feel like it because. Uh, I learned a lot. There were so many angles. We tried different uh, angles on the handlebars. We moved the cleats. We did some, uh, uh, what was it, like stretching and uh, f 
flexible stuff and so we're gonna I'm gonna can't wait to try it on the road feels a lot better feels like I can breathe now at least so uh, stayed with the same saddle I had uh, we moved the handlebars just some minor adjustments but it feels a lot better can't wait to try it on the road anyway thanks for watching uh, we'll be doing more videos once I get on the road and I'll tell you what it feels like yeah I can always bring it back and uh, change the uh, stem in case I so for some reason it doesn't feel that good uh, they told me that I can just replace the stem but anyway thanks for watching and uh, if you like the video go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe to the channel that'll help the channel out see thanks. you soon